My name is Zach Sierra. This is HVAC Shop Talk, and we're going to continue our Bible series going into chapter two of the book of Matthew. When it comes time to buy your HVAC tools, most of them are available at truetechtools.com. And if you use our Shop Talk discount code, you can save 8% off your order. And if you don't use our code, you're basically stealing food from my children's mouth. Shop Talk is the discount code. Use it. Let's go ahead and read this first section right here. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from the eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, the newborn king of the Jews, that would be Jesus. Y'all could probably figure that one out there. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. King Herod was deeply disturbed because he was the king of the region. And this is a popular theme throughout life and throughout history, is that people in power are afraid to lose their power. And Herod was afraid to lose his power to this newborn king of the Jews, Jesus. He didn't understand, like so many people didn't understand, that Jesus wasn't here to conquer the earth like a warrior, but he was conquering through peace. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah, for a ruler will come from you who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. And then he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so I can go and worship him too. Herod's being a little deceptive right here. He doesn't want to worship him. He wants to kill him. After this interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. Herod's concerned about losing his power. He wants to destroy any chance his power is going to be taken away from him. And so he wants to kind of manipulate the wise men and find the location of Jesus so he can kill him. The wise men are warned by God. They go back a different way so they don't participate in this scheme of Herod's. After the wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother, the angel said. Stay there until I tell you to return, because Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. That night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother. They stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet. I called my son out of Egypt. Herod was furious when he realized that the wise men had outwitted him. He sent soldiers to kill all the boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years old and under, based on the wise men's report of the star's first appearance. Herod's brutal action fulfilled what God had spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A cry was heard in Ramah, weeping in great warning. Rachel weeps for her children, refusing to be comforted, for they are all dead. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Get up, the angel said. Take the child and his mother back to the land of Israel, because those who are trying to kill the child are dead. So Joseph got up and returned to the land of Israel with Jesus and his mother. But when he learned that the new ruler of Judea was Herod's son, Archelaus, they were afraid to go there. Then after being warned in a dream, he left for the region of Galilee. So the family went and lived in a town called Nazareth. This fulfilled what the prophets had said. He will be called a Nazarene. So I think one of the main takeaways that we can take away in our everyday lives is uh, lust for power becomes evil manifested. Herod wanted to keep his power. He wanted to be king. He wanted to kill the newborn savior. He manipulated the wise men. He schemed and he killed every single two and under child in that region, boy child in that region. Think about the level of evil that we're talking about to be able to, to commit that act. You're talking about killing hundreds and thousands of little children in order to preserve your power. That is evil right there. So that's our lesson for today. What did you take away from it? Did you take anything away from it? It's an interesting story. It's going to continue to play out. And I think you're going to be 
especially if you've never heard this before, you're going to be kind of interested in how this all turns out and what it means, what Christ means. And it's a really cool story. I hope you stick around for the rest of it. And God bless each and every one of you. Hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.